what is up you guys it is jameth gameth before the video begins i just want to apologize if you hear any loud static throughout the video um it's because how my mic is set up sometimes when i get too loud the volume kind of fritzes out on it so just look out for that you know keep your volume down a little bit lower than usual just so you don't have to worry about it anyways here's the video and i hope you guys enjoy what is up you guys back again it is jameth gameth with some more bloodborne let's just let's just look at her real quick let's look at my beautiful woman um last episode i was up there which i can't really show because the camera i was there and now i'm here there now i'm here anyways um one thing to note is that i did kill a thing here as you can see by the green stuff um these guys are in fact alive <laughs> if you couldn't tell uh, you can lock on them so that kind of hints at it and they're really weak against fire, so if I can angle this right... Then fuck them all up. Jesus Christ, that's loud. <laughs> Go die, you fucker. By the way, one thing I noticed while playing this, I don't know if this is extremely loud or it's just me. Maybe I need to turn the volume down. I don't know. We'll see. You can just kill all these guys with your weapons, but it's a lot easier when you just hit them with the fire. But I've noticed a lot in my... Uh, in my recordings that I do uh, quote a lot of youtubers <laughs> and it might just be because I'm on YouTube so much so I'm just kind of used to saying like these little jokes that they say so I'm sorry for that if it sounds like I'm like copying them I'm not really trying to but as you can see here in the sewer we could either go down this long path or we can go up these ladders we're actually gonna go up the ladders first because we're gonna create a kind of a shortcut first and you can kind of see that's where we were Oh yeah, speaking of which, there is an item I picked up last time that I forgot to talk about. So I'll go check that out when I get to the top of this, uh, this ladder of, of, of tallness. Huh. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> he spawned in. I, I don't know if you guys have <laughs> seen that glitch. I heard him and I knew he was there, so I decided to look over. But, uh, I guess the game wasn't ready for that one. Birds. Oh, these birds are the worst kind of guys. So we pick up this item, Madman's Knowledge. So we're going to go into the equipment loads real quick. Uh, where can I find this at? So we actually picked up the Hunter's. Uh, it might be easier to just look through uh, inventory. We picked up the Hunter's Hat, the Hunter's Garb, and all that. It does a little bit more defensive damage, um, or it blocks from more defensive uh, attacks. So we're actually going to equip them just because it's honestly better than what we have on now. And now we kind of look like a badass, you know. Of course, we have to look like a badass. This is fashion born after all. So we got a big guy over here. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Sidestep it for the win. Shh, be quiet. It's very calm. And fuck you. <laughs> he was laughing right when I laughed. Amazing. It's almost like he could hear me. Maybe he knew he was going to get butt raped and he kind of liked it. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not judging. <laughs> So, like I said, these red lamps mean that there's someone there, so we can talk. We're gonna find her mom. Tiny music box. Very interesting. She does, in fact, spoil a couple of things about the upcoming events about the story. Um, one thing she did say was a red jeweled brooch, which is something you guys should remember later on, maybe in a later episode. Ever episode, yeah, because there's an R in episode. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back down. And I actually haven't been looking at the time, so I hope I don't go over. Hopefully I don't go over, but if we do, there's actually, I think there's someone in this house. This, I think this is one of the only houses that doesn't have the red uh, lamp on that you can actually talk. Can I come in? Fuck you then. What if I like hit it and like something came out? Be so scared. It's like um I didn't know about this. So anyways um we're gonna go back down actually. 
Now, I'll, the next thing I'm going to do is not really the way you should do it. And, okay, it was the bird. Okay, <laughs> I'm seeing things that I'm not used to seeing. The next, this way isn't really the safest way. Um, I definitely suggest going the other way first down the, you know, the longer path. But, being that we're pros at this game, of course, um, we're going to go the dangerous way. But, the, yes, that little girl does, in fact, let you know about a couple of upcoming events. Ow. Oh, gosh. Ooh, dodge the bullet. <clears throat> Get him. Yes, come on. Get him. Yes. Ooh. These guys are really, they do a lot of damage. So, like, I am actually scared to fight some of these guys at times. Dodge the bullet. Oh, man, I was trying to go for the cool attack, bro. They didn't let me do my cool stuff. But anyways, one thing to notice also about these giant big werewolf guys is that they almost always drop blood vials. Now, maybe one of the reasons is, well, I didn't really explain this too well, and the game doesn't really explain it too well either. But actually, blood vials, like, this is Yarnum. This is the city Yarnum. Um, the reason all these people are kind of turning into these, you know, hairy beasts, as you can see, is because of this blood that they're consuming. They're actually consuming this blood. The blood actually has healing effects, or so people bl uh, uh, I was gonna say blot. I don't know if that's a word. People believe that the blood in this city actually had healing uh, powers, so they would drink it, you know, or either get drink it or you know inject it into themselves to heal their ailments or their sicknesses. Um, turns out <laughs> the blood actually turns you into a savage beast who wants to feed on more blood. So in a sense, it's kind of it's kind of funny, kind of counterproductive, you know. You're healing all your sicknesses and you just end up turning into a monster. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Good thing, bad thing, I don't know. Do you want to be a werewolf? Do you want to be a were- Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> okay, so let's drop down and get this item. Now we're going to climb back up. A lot of back and forth climbing. But yeah, everyone in this city has been drinking blood. And so much so that they kind of get addicted to it. And, uh, you know, some of those guys are kind of more addicted than others. You know, like the big giant werewolf guys. And so they'll have blood vials on them. Like, you know, extra ones that they were going to drink. It's funny that you can he sometimes hear these guys talking. I don't know what they say all the time, but maybe if I'm in the general area, you can kind of hear it. These guys just breathe heavily. They don't even speak anymore. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Come on. Fuck. Get it. Fuck. 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 <laughs> Fuck! There it goes. <laughs> I'm good at this game, alright? <laughs> I only missed it like six times. There goes all my bullets. <laughs> no, but you start with 20, so it should be fun. It's funny how loud that is, but... Oh. I forgot that guy was there, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I haven't played this in a bit. Fuck you. Ah, he hit me. You can see that werewolf guy kind of on the left side. I don't know how the hell he does not hear all this loud shit. Maybe we're just a little bit numb to it. Maybe they're numb to it. Look, I don't. What the fuck is he looking at? Sneaky, sneaky. You can kind of just hear him breathing. It's kind of creepy. Sorry if you hear me sniffling a bit. I uh, woke up about an hour ago and I still have a little bit of mucus in my throat. Uh, you know, that's really cute to talk about and stuff, but you know. <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of items. Heard that shit? <laughs> Scary as shit sound. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game, I, I'm so used to playing it on such a low volume, I, I, I never actually hear a lot of these things. So, one thing a lot of people miss, either if you're coming from this way downwards, or you're coming upwards, is this little left side. You can see that there's a broken, you know, hole in the wall. And boxes are just the loudest thing. Got a bunch of items up here. But more importantly, we're about to meet a lady. No, not us. Die. Um, do I want to risk it to crawl across the biscuit? Ooh, <laughs> I, I got crackhead hands, so, you know, they shake a lot. So me going across those really thin edges is not generally the best idea. Ooh. Hello, ma'am. Oh, she looked at us. Oh, that is a little creepy. I like that. Because <laughs> in, a, in a world where everything wants to kill you, it's weird to be able to talk to somebody. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Hmm. 
<laughs> Here, to welcome the new hunter. Kind of look at her a bit. You can kind of see her mask. It's really interesting. It's like a bird or something. A bold Prepare hunter's mark. For the worst. There are no I can't tell if she's old. I think she's very old, but I can't tell if it's just now. It's a mask. Trying to see under it, but the whole f the mask covers up her whole face. Still lingering about. Oh That's shit. Unnerved by a few beasts. No matter. Without fear in our hearts. We're little different from the beasts themselves. Oh yeah, she gives you one of the coolest emotes in the game now. I'm not really good at doing the emotes. How the hell do you do these things? Alright, so I wanna switch. I'll, I'll I'll show you guys some of these things. So let me just do it now, actually. This is the one she just gave us. <laughs> it's really cool, like, right after you've defeated the enemy to do some stuff like that. I don't know, it's just little, little, you know, extra things they like to put in the game. Alright, so, we actually cut those bodies down, but they dropped all the way at the bottom. But we're gonna go get them right now. So we drop down and get those dead bodies we cut off. And rats! Fun, fun. Ow. Damn. Ow. Oh god, no fall. Ah, <laughs> oh, and he dropped down like an ass. Whatever. <laughs> That's a cool story, bro. You can stay down there for all I care. Rats, rats, everywhere. Rats, rats, um, with lots of hair. I'm a rapper dog. And then where'd he go? Oh, there he is, I see him. I'm not gonna be able to do my cool thing. You know what, we'll do it anyways. For Narnia! Ow. Madman's knowledge. Now I find this item kind of interesting in where it's placed. Why are the rats kind of swarming around this madman's knowledge over here? Maybe it's just to, you know, draw your eye to, you know, the rats, what they're staring at in the corner. Or maybe there's something to it. I don't really know. Some things I don't know about this game. And since we cut down two bodies, they actually landed on opposite sides as well, so we got to climb back up. A lot of back and forth in Yarnum. Once once you get out of Yarnum, the game really starts moving forward a lot more quickly. But Yarnum has a lot of, you know, secrets and certain shortcuts and stuff like that. That's probably why there is so many shortcuts, is just because the city is just so immense in its, you know, in its, you know, hallways and secrets and all that. Oh, there's three here. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. They are giant rats. <laughs> like, imagine seeing some shit like in this house. Like, they're as big as me, and when they stand up, they're bigger than me. Like, that's just fucking crazy. I don't know what the fuck you've been feeding these rats, but, uh, maybe cut down on the meats. Because <laughs> it seems they're hungry for human flesh. Sorry if I do weird camera angles, too. I, don't, I gotta apologize for all the things. <laughs> maybe I should just stop apologizing. We're actually gonna go up this way first. Retrace our steps once again. To a new area. Just look at this place. Uh, I like that lighting. It's orange. Which I never understand where that light's coming from. It seems it's from the sun. Maybe it's because it's like, you know, the evening. So the sun, you know how it kind of gets that orangey effect. A certain part of the day. Because you can kind of see it here. It's very orange. Maybe it's just the window is orange. And so the light coming through it is orange. I don't know. Go up this way. And we have ourselves dogs. More dogs, because those are the funnest enemies. You're a hunter. And well, do you know of any safe spots? No. Hello, can I come in? How oh, very well. Trying to keep things as you always enough. Well, if you wanted to cut off your arses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what you're doing? Are you going to tell me you're not? No. Bit of nail. You're fit for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That little bit you outside is this. Go on. Admit it. You think we all know, don't you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Did you know this trick? Bang! <laughs> Just kill her. 
anyways i think it's right about time to wrap this thing up so you can see there's a bunch of dogs over there kind of in cages and stuff i don't know if you can see it from here but we'll do that next episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did you know come back for the next episode i'm sure there'll be many more to come look at our beautiful girl covered in blood <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys next time peace out